Richard Martin. Welcome to Garden West Sports with Richard Martin. And this is not the studio, is it? Well, you're right. This is my room. And you're probably wondering, Richard, why are we in your room today for today's report? What's going on? Did you lose your money? Like, are you very low budget? Like, do you have problems, man? And I'll tell you, I am perfectly fine. But you know what? I said, this one, I'm going to be a little more chill. We're going to relax a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to relax a little bit and we're going to have something called the Richard Martin Highlight Reel. So anyway, how are we going to watch these highlights? I don't see a TV anywhere. Well, you are wrong. Introducing the Martin Tron 5000. Beautiful, isn't she? I love her. That's all that matters. We're going to look at the women's basketball team, women's lacrosse, and baseball. So, let's check it out. Ah, here we go. And here we go. Women's basketball senior night taking on first place Asheville. Alexis Hill. She was feeling it early. Gets the two pointer right there. Right here gets the three. At one point, she had as many points as Asheville did. Here comes Evelyn Adebayo with the layup. She gets it in. And then Olivia Parker gets in the easy layup as well. And on senior night, Gardner gets the victory. But look at the coach for Asheville. She was mad. Good Lord, I hate to be her husband. Gardner gets the win, 57-51 over the first place Bulldogs of Asheville. Meanwhile, women's lacrosse, well, they were hyped up early. I think this is dancing. I'm not sure. Stick to the cross, ladies. Go Alex Fusco. She gets knocked out. But hey, she makes the shot right here with the spin move. Oh my goodness. Here, think the ball's out for Furman. Psych, Amanda Steinmiller gets the goal, and that's it for Gardner Webb. Furman, however, is able to hold off the comeback as Gardner Webb will fall to the Paladins 15 to 8 on the road. Now, for this highlight, last highlight, we're not going to be using the Martin Tron 5000. We're going to be using the Big South Network. There we go. Let's enjoy the Big South Network. And the dogs are going to Iona. This is Friday's game, and they were feeling it all weekend on the mound. 33 combined strikeouts in three games against the Gales. Right here, the dogs able to turn to double play. Defense was key in this game right here. As you can see, the pickoff at first. Blair Hook is great throw. Fifth inning, the dogs come alive with some offense as Paul Trick gets the shot in the left field. That sends home two runs as the Gales player is unable to handle the ball. Offense was the key in this game for the dogs. And they wouldn't only get all their runs in the fifth. They get nine in the fifth, but they get two more here off this shot in the right field, just close to being a home run. And the dogs, they were feeling it. And you can see the second run come in. Arnold was feeling it 11 to 1 win over the Iona Gales on Friday. Well, now we've looked back at last week's events. Let's look ahead to this week. This week, the Garden Webb baseball team is on the road for a one-game series against North Carolina A&T. That will be on March 2nd at 3 p.m. in Greensboro. Big South men's basketball tournament starts this week. And in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, Garden Webb is a seven seed taking on the host, Campbell Fighting Camels. They will play on Thursday around 7 p.m. And this weekend, baseball is home once again for another four-game series. This time it's against the Ryder Broncos. They start on Friday at 4 p.m., a doubleheader on Saturday starting at noon, and they finish up the series at 1 p.m. on Sunday. And good luck to the wrestling team this weekend as they will travel up to Asheville, North Carolina for the SoCon Wrestling Championships. Of course, the Dogs won the regular season title earlier this month. And finally, women's lacrosse is at home to St. Francis, Pennsylvania. That will be at 2 o'clock in Spangler Stadium on March 5th. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out GWSports.com for all your Garden Web sporting news. And hey, check us out, GW-Today.com. For GW Today, I'm Richard Martin, and see you later. See if we can... Ah, peace.